Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about batch converting various video formats to other various video formats. Now, there's a piece of great software that I've been using for the past day, just been checking it out and seeing what I can do. Um, it's called Media Coder, and I strongly recommend you have this on your computer for whatever reason, if you um, deal with audio or video or anything like that. It's well worth doing. So, I'm just going to start it. It says Media Coder, I feel the joy of transcoding version 0.61, I'll provide the link in the description. Uh, usually it pops up first and it says something like um, welcome to it or something, you just say um, remember not to start that again and then say start media coder and then it will come up. That's just a pop up to t welcome you. And um, this is it really. It may start in the taskbar also because it did for me, so just click that and then it will come up. So here we have the main box here. You can start dragging and dropping your files in, or you can add folders, add files, add folder recurs recursively, add tracks, and add URLs. So, various things you can do in this box here. So, I have a video I did on for YouTube, which was on ripping DVDs, which I talked about media code inside. All I'm going to do is drag the file into here. So, now it says video, audio video interleave, which, which is AVI, which is the format it's in. And um, you can see when I click it, there is the properties of it all down here, and it says the bitrate, duration, all things like that. Now, these buttons along the top are very useful. Uh, you can just remove them, clear them, play them. So, if I wanted to play it, hi oh, guys, there it's me jabbering on about um, ripping DVDs. And so, you can pause them, and this is to start your encoding. And uh, the extension button is very useful, but I'll talk about that in a second. So, firstly you want to select, when I want to do my DVD, I want to select the original, the output folder, and I'm just going to select that as the desktop. So, it's going to rip this, uh, not rip, sorry, convert this onto the desktop. So, the next thing you want to do is choose the format you want. So, you go down to here, and firstly you can change um, things like um, the audio encoder, but I'm going to leave this at lame mp3, because I just think it's the best. Um, to use, but you can they then take it a step further and you can customize the lame encoder to do whichever you want by variable bit rates and channels and bit rate quality and things like that. So you can change it to be whatever you want. Um, but you'll notice that they've got all the options along here. Now they don't all obviously apply to this lame, so you'll notice that it says Warbus Nero encoder and things like that on the encoder bit that they are the properties for those. And when you go to video, this is where you can change your um, format. Now, I'm going to say enable video because originally it was going to just enable the audio and take audio from this file, but I've enabled the video. You can change the killer. The less you have, the less quality it's going to be here. So you've got a slider here that you can use. And um, the format is the most important thing you want to do. You'll notice when you go into container, it's got several file extensions that you can have on your phone, like 3GP is a phone, MP4 is iPod, things like that. But the best thing to do is leave this at default and not touch it and go through the format. You notice it's got MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MP3, MP4, flash video, Windows Media, real video, um, motionless JPEG, things like that. So the best thing to do is go through this format first because when you do it, it automatically changes your extension to what's going to come out so you see H.263 has changed that to 3GP, which is for phones. Um, it automatically changes the container, so I, I think it's best to leave this at the default, and then it will change your file to the actual format. So, uh, also leave this alone, because this is just another encoder thing. It's very, very customizable. So, that's about it really. Um, there's more settings here, but I'm not even going to touch them, because there's just too much to set here. Um, so. You can obviously add more um, things here. Uh, you can just uh, add a full folder, add multiple files, and then do them to the various um, formats you want. And there's a task mode here. I think uh, join and split and things like that. If you have multiple files in here at the end, I think it will join them all together or something like that, or split them up, whichever. Um, now you can go into the settings. There's several settings you can use, but I don't, I'm not going to go into them because you can see there's loads. Excuse me. Um, so, the one more important thing, uh, well, useful thing, is the extension button. So you click that, and it comes up with a Firefox-style page and with an ad, but forget the ad. 
and you'll notice it's come up with several formats, uh, several media like phones and digital media players and things like that. Um, so what you can do is click on, for example, iPod. You can not set these at all, and if you want to do it straight to iPod, you just click Apple iPod, and you'll notice it's come up with a actual picture of an iPod, and it's got all the video settings already done for you. So all you have to do is just press start, and it will go. So I'm actually going to do that now. I'm going to say no cropping, and I'm going to leave all this the same. And I'm just going to firstly I'm going to play it to make sure it works. Hi guys, this is a video. I yep. So I'm just going to press start, and it should start changing. And you'll notice that it's come up with my um, with a preview of my DVD ripper video. You can see it's working fairly quickly. I've got 41 percent already. So. If you want to change the quality or anything like that and make it a smaller file, then you change the video bitrate and things like that. But for the time being, we're just going to leave it at default. So this will be perfect to put on your iPod Nanos or Touches or whatever. So transcoding completed. Two files have been transcoded. So what I selected here was Xvid and let's put it into MP4, um, which is for the iPod. I didn't select it, sorry. This actual extension did. So that is ready to go onto my iPod. Uh, which is great. So that's exactly what we want. It's nice and free, so you'd have to pay for it. It rips to various formats, as I show you with the containers, flash videos, real media, things like that. So very useful piece of software to have, and very easy to use. So I'll provide the download link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching my video, um, and that's about it really. If you find anything better than this, um, which probably isn't because um, I've seen several rippers on the internet or not rippers, con converters, sorry I'm still in the rip DVD thing um, several converters on the internet which uh, only do specific formats and this seems to do them all so um, just get downloading really because um, you may have a problem also with um, with these formats, it might say something like uh, codec that you can't do it because of a missing codec or something like that if that does happen, just download something called K-Light Codec Pack, just uh, Google it, and then you can play these or um, rip them, or perhaps this installs um, the codecs for you, I'm not sure of. I've previously installed the K-Light Codec Pack because that just plays everything on the internet, so um, or anything like that, so that's that's about it really, so I won't waste, waste any more of your time. Thanks for watching my video, um, please comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever. Thanks again.